Hey my friends, what is going on? Jake Andrews here at Blues Rock Guitar Lessons. And I'm coming at you today with another classic song. This time it's The Doors with Roadhouse Blues. This is The Doors, Jim Morrison, doing their best blues song. And it's a cool track, a cool guitar part. And I've gotten some requests for it, so I thought I would show you the right way to play it. Now this song was released in 1970 on the Morrison Hotel album and recorded in 1969. Something really cool I found out about this that I did not know is that Lonnie Mack, the amazing, hugely influential blues rock guitarist, huge influence on myself, Lonnie Mack is actually playing bass on this track. The Doors normal bassist was not in the studio that day and Lonnie Mack actually was working at the time for Electra Records where this was recorded in LA. So Lonnie Mack is on bass. Now there is some controversy as to whether Lonnie Mack played guitar on maybe some of the takes. Uh, but on the released album version that everyone's familiar with it's definitely Robbie Krieger playing guitar, Jim Morrison, Ray Manzarek on keyboards and then of course Lonnie Mack is playing bass. So very cool. That was cool to find out. Also on the track on harmonica is John Sebastian from the Loving Spoonville. So very cool as well. I'd always wondered who was playing harp on this song. And yeah, great song, very cool, fun to play. It's a classic. So y'all come in close and let me show you how I'm doing it. Okay, are we ready? So, Roadhouse Blues, we are in the key of E, good old E, very common key for a 12 bar blues, and we are mostly down here in the first position. Okay, so we get all of those big, cool, open notes, which sound great. Now, the main riff is built off of these low bass notes. And it's Robbie Krieger coming in by himself at first playing this riff. And it sounds like this. That's one full round of the riff. So if you notice, it has that real choppy sound to the low E bass note. He goes one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to pick it six times, but notice how I mute it in between. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's a big part of getting that sound is muting it out. Just barely in between kind of mute that just light as a feather with your fingers here and get that choppy sound. Now after that he's going to pick the fifth string and hammer on and walk it up to the B note. Okay, so it sounds like this. Now just repeat it except go to the fourth string, the D string. And that is the full riff, that real recognizable intro. That's it. Play it a bunch. Now we do it six times in the beginning before the vocal verse starts. Okay, so y'all get ready and play along with me. I'll do it a little bit slowed down. One, two, three, Right, and at that point the vocal starts and of course he does not stop playing. He continues playing the same riff one full round. So right when the vocal comes in, keep your eyes on the road. Now the second time during the verse we start the same but then we change it. We go. Um, 
okay? And actually, we're gonna hammer on the fourth string there. So we're gonna go. <laughs> Okay, so I do that first part the same. Now I hammer in on the fourth string. And I'm gonna pick the third and second strings open. And then go to the root note. Pick it and then hammer on and pull off that note. And then finally go up to the fifth string and walk it down like this. Okay, so. That's the whole riff, okay. So once again, when the vocal comes in, one normal time and then once like this. Now immediately repeat it. Except right there, it goes into this. Okay, so let's look at that. So we're going through the normal time. Hammer on and pull off there. But when we come up here, we're going to come to the fifth string and go. Alright, you hear that? And now we're going to hammer and kind of walk back the low notes of the scale. Into the riff again. Okay, all right. Let's play that whole verse and you try to get a feel for what I'm doing there. Here we go. Once the vocal comes in. Repeat it. this new part. All right, that's it. Let's try it one more time, full speed, no breaks. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we're kind of between verses, and this is where he switches over to a chord, okay? And he goes. So we do that twice in between verses. Now, I'm doing an E7 down here, kind of in the first position. You could get it here, like that C shape seven chord. But I think it's much easier to get it here and stay close to my low bass note. So I'm getting this partial E7 down here. Middle finger on fourth string on the root, first finger on the third string, and pinky on the second string out front. And I'm strumming just the last four strings. And then I'm doing that hammer on. Actually, I'm hitting the low E. And then the D string. Okay, now actually the way I'm doing it, I'm up strumming that chord. So it sounds like this. Okay. 
All right, and that's where the second verse vocal starts. Continue with this same riff. It's basically going to be just like the second verse, I mean, just like the first verse, but we are going to substitute this chord for the low. Okay, so once Jim, Jimmy, starts singing the second verse, we're going to continue with this and it's going to sound like. And that's where we throw in. Same lick from the first verse. Okay, now repeat that. Into this part. Kind of pause there and then back to. Okay, so you can see it really is identical to the first verse except for substituting this chord. Let's try it again. Try it with me. And here we go. We're doing this twice in between verses. Here's where the second verse vocal starts. Okay, now it's going to lead us straight into the bridge part, which is played over an A, okay? Just a power A right here. And we're doing that, that old school bass line part here, and it looks like this. Okay, so six rounds of that. Once again, I'm strumming both strings here. Just a power A. And then these are all single notes. That's the riff. Very common old school and new school bass line pattern, okay? I mean, it's like a... You know, that same thing. Um, so six rounds of that. Now at the end of that we're going to the five, which in this key is B, okay? You could get, and, and it's not a seventh chord or a ninth chord, it's just a straight major chord. You could get it here, which is easy. Uh, he actually jumps all the way up here to a full barred B chord. Okay, and he's going to do this and then he's going to go sharp to C and then back. It sounds like this. Okay, so you see down, up, I'm strumming it. It's really like triplets. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. And then we're going to hit the sharp. One, two, three, four. Okay. So from this section, right here all night long and that is where the solo comes right in okay so up here to our high E position right in our first box okay pretty basic solo but he's playing it fairly fast and this first riff is going
Okay, so let's look at that. Kind of a Chuck Berry type lick. Bending the third string and keeping the first finger barred on the first and second string. And now you could downstroke this. Four. Eight rounds of that. I find it's a lot easier to alternate that. Okay, alternate the strumming on the first and second string. So. Eight times, and then he increases the speed by just doubling up and going. Okay, so that's really just single notes. I think it's 12 times, okay? So we're doing eight rounds of this. And then 10 ra 12 rounds. And now he comes out of it by going. Okay, so he's just bending that second string down to the first, and then bending the first string. And then he's going to bend here on the second string and do a similar timing. Eight rounds of that. And then we're going to switch up to the third string and do three times. Okay, so so he's doubling up, even though it's single notes still, he's doubling up. And then same thing here, three times, and then he's going to pull off here and go. Okay, so pull off on the third string, and then bend and pull off. Okay, there we go. So that's that first section. Uh, now, we're coming down all the way to the end of the neck, and we're doing basically like the hideaway lick. Just hammer that second string on your middle finger. Major pentatonic lick, and we're going. Sixteen times, sixteen rounds. At that point, we're going into a lick like this. Okay, another great basic blues lick. Middle finger, third string, second fret, and I'm going to slide to the fourth fret and drop in my first finger on the second string. So now take it back quickly and pull it off. So I pull off here and then that's a basic blues lick. All right. Now, that lick is answered by the harmonica, uh, which is basically doing the same notes, but an octave up. So we could do the same lick, actually, on guitar up here and do it with these fingers. Okay, you see, that's the same lick. I'm using my ring and middle this time. Okay, then the guitar repeats it again. Harmonica. And then guitar comes in with just a real simple lick. Okay? And now we're down to this. And now we get back into the rhythm. Okay, so let's play that whole solo. Here we go. Check it out. One, two, three, four.
Answer it. Again. Answer. And then in. And now the solo's over and we switch back into a new rhythm part, which is real, real simple. Look how simple that is. Open E and then here on the root note. We hit it open there, so we hit it twice, and then we go. That's the whole rhythm part, and you know what? He's going to do that 30 times. Yes, I did count it out, 30 times. So this is when we kind of bring it down um, with the vocal. It's a little more subdued, and he goes. If you want, you could hammer on to that first one. All right, so really, 30 rounds, okay? And finally, he comes out of it by going back into... That's really where the the last verse starts okay which is identical to the second verse okay so he stays on this rhythm part so he does that a few times um, after the other rhythm part and switch over to this for about two or three times And that's where the vocal starts, so go into, like I said, identical to the second verse. Here we go. Again. like the second verse and then we go into this bridge section just like the second verse six rounds just like we did before and we are going to go to the B chord, like I said, either here or like he's doing it, the full bar chord right here. And this is where it changes a little bit. Watch this. That's our whole ending. So we're going to do this. Okay, we're not gonna go sharp like the other one. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, and then we're gonna just hesitate and then pick it again, strum it again, and go. Okay, the band is gonna take it all the way to E. Okay. But we need to stop at E flat to give us time to hit this ending lick, which sounds like. All right, right in our first box again. First string, pull off. Walk it back and then bend and pull off the third string. Root note, back to the third string. Now we're going to get this two note little major chord and go. You can slide into it from E to D. All right, so once again, that ending section, we're coming out of this. And we're going 
gonna go. And that, my friends, is the entire song. Woo! Okay, everybody, hope you enjoyed that song. A very cool blues track from one of the most well-known L.A. rock groups of the late 60s, The Doors. Please leave the video a like if you did enjoy it, and definitely subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon if you haven't already so you can get email notifications from me every time I put out a new video. Also, if you are interested in taking your plan another step further, I'm doing one-on-one -on -one private Zoom video lessons right now. So you can contact me at austinbluesguitarlessons.com. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much.